Often when I'm asked why it's such a big deal, it's just a street name. My answer is it's not. We can't go on celebrating people who have contributed uh, to enslavement. That's Andrew Lahey. He started a petition to change the name of Dundas Street. Almost 15,000 people have signed it. And the city of Toronto is listening and seriously considering the change. But after almost 200 years of this street being named after Henry Dundas, why is it time to change it? Black and Indigenous communities have been telling us over and over again, this is a problem. We need to do something about it. When someone is telling you to stop punching them in the face, why wouldn't you stop? Andrew spent a lot of time researching what Henry Dundas did. In the late 18th century, he opposed the abolition of slavery in British colonies, which led to more than half a million more people being enslaved. Once we learn these things, we're compelled to take action. We can't just say, as citizens of Toronto, that, oh yeah, we know this, but we can't be bothered to do anything about it? Uh, I think that's unconscionable. Thousands of people move along Dundas Street every day. It's one of the longest and most important streets in the province. To change the name even within the city would be a serious undertaking. So a common suggestion Andrew says he hears over and over is instead of changing the name, put up a plaque that explains who Dundas was. I actually think this is one of the worst possible outcomes because what it says is we know this is a person not worthy of commemoration, but we're going to do it anyway. There are countless references to Henry Dundas all across Ontario, like this plaque in the town of Dundas. This is where I meet Christopher Radenovich. He doesn't want Dundas Street renamed. The bigger issue for me is that if we start with Henry Dundas, then everybody's fair game, right? And then you're going to start tearing down everything. Christopher started his own petition to keep the name. It now has about 1,500 signatures. But Christopher says for him, this goes beyond Dundas Street. For example, I'm not okay with tearing down the statue of our country's founder, Sir John A. Macdonald. If we're to discredit all of the accomplishments of the past because we're trying to hold individuals to today's moral standards, then we're going to sweep history under the rug because we're ashamed of it. If we erase history, then there's nothing stopping us from repeating the mistakes of the past. The other concern Christopher has is more concrete. The pandemic has been hard on him. He's had to move back in with his parents for financial reasons. And it's not lost on him that the renaming of Dundas Street would cost millions. Spending millions of dollars changing the signs should be allocated to helping people thrive. Why would we spend millions of dollars changing signs when we could spend millions of dollars helping each other. But maybe to better understand if we should change the name of Dundas Street, we should talk to someone who's been affected by his actions. Meet Melanie Newton. I'm from Barbados. I am the descendant of enslaved people. Um, and I am a historian. I have spent decades now researching the history of slavery and you can see the names of people um, as they were recorded by slave traders who were captured and transported. So the name Dundas is plastered all over Ontario but the names of millions of people are lost to the slave trade. Melanie is a history professor at the University of Toronto and she made a presentation to Toronto City Council in favor of changing the name. People say that this is erasing history. What do you think? What we're doing is trying to undo erasure, right? This is a fuller, richer, for some people, less comforting history. This is a fuller story. Melanie says one of the goals of naming streets after British figures was to erase the indigenous culture that was already here at the time. Still, she says this debate isn't about the distant past. It's about the future. I have kids who are growing up here. I want them to understand that change is possible, that their voices count, that citizenship for them should not have to mean living with public celebrations of racism and violence. What would it mean to you if the name is changed? The day that I walked down that street for the first time and 
the name Dundas is gone would be a very emotional day, I have to say. I feel very um, proud to have been able to make this kind of difference. That would mean a lot. Nick Purden, CBC News, Toronto.